All good? Yeah, man. Glad you guys made it. Yeah. Long you guys ready to go have What's, a good day? Is he trailer that? Yeah. I honestly, I think he's just like really excited about his new truck. <laughs> we just got done building it. That's funny. So, anyways, we're ready to rock. Yeah. Um, we put a breakfast order in. If you guys call that place, we'll order up. We'll do yeah. Something. It'll be done. ready in like 15 minutes. We are in Colorado. Huge change of plans. Wanted to do something different. And uh, yeah, we're in uh, Leadville, heading to Buena Vista. We're gonna go jeeping and fishing, I guess. And it's already beautiful. Everything they make up here is just beautiful. So we drove in at night. Actually, I flew in, Kyle and Andrew drove in, and everyone got here safe, but super late, so we didn't see any of Colorado. We're with Colin, lives in the area, knows some of the best trails, and we're gonna go out with him. And then we're also gonna check out All For Fun and see how All For Fun is. like an hour to the lake and we're gonna fish for a couple hours come back down and then do tin cup pass which will be like two hours up and i'm hoping we can get there by like 3 3 30 because there's this place called frenchies it's on this little pond it's like this little mountain desolate mountain town and they have the most badass milkshakes and burgers like unbelievable they closed at four though so we got to try to get up there before that The Grizzly Lake Trail. Grizzly Lake, this is what it's called. Grizzly Lake Trail. Just sort of, we're just going to Grizzly, no, we're not even going. This is just Grizzly Lake. Got we're it. going up to Grizzly Lake. The, the trail's called Grizzly Lake, but the lake that we're fishing is, is Grizzly Lake, so it leads us up to it. I wonder how much snow these house, like, how much snow's doing. But see, this this is similar to like the Mike? car. Like, it's just broken shell rock. There's a lot of it. And in the car, it's not pushed down in the center, but it literally is just like this. And they'll tell you, just drive as fast as you can. Pick your speed, it doesn't matter, right? It's You got two spare tires, so literally, this is how it is. I wish more people could see how the car was, but this is probably the closest I've ever seen to like explaining the car. But right here, just drive through this.
like our brother's port. So I built him that white uh, JT. He's like the blue hole. Huh? What's your mother's port for him? Mother Monster. Is this um, Dave? Oh, I don't know. I need the lighter. Now they have some wicked red on them. Yeah. I made it to Grizzly Lake. Doing a little fly fishing, trying to learn how to do so, uh -oh, do something new. So we're learning. We're learning so far. How not to get it stuck on the trees. Oh, ah. that was terrible. Let's do that again. There we go. Perfect. See? It's perfect. All you do is just lift your rod up. Yeah. So there's definitely fish that will cruise these banks and. You know, hopefully we'll start to see him topping up. All right, fly fishing was short-lived. I like fly fishing, but I also need to try regular fishing. I'm just here to hang out. Oh, God. I am terrible at this. Aggressive. Yeah, it literally. Yeah. There, finally. Another nice one. Casey has the biggest? Yeah. No, for sure. That has to be the first time he turns out. <laughs> yeah. Do I really have to touch it? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> How do you get that thing out of there? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whoa. You hit me. You're fine. <laughs> Your hook is in my face. <laughs> Go. It did me. Oh, nice. All right, fishing was epic. Up here, 11,000 feet elevation, nice little five minute hike uh, to Grizzly Lake. And uh, yeah, we caught like 100 trout. Pretty unreal. Like 20 of us up here, and people were slain. I only caught two, but fun. And uh, yeah, pulled the uh, hook out myself, got bit by the fish. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna go eat lunch uh, or try to eat lunch at another pass. Um, I think it's like three hours away, so epic day. just went swimming in a lake. Alright, so we just left Tin Cup. Uh, it's a super small town uh, up on the hill. All the roads in, all the roads out, but 
we went to get milkshakes and they're sold out. Too many people came in, so obviously that's a good sign that they're too good. So we got ice cream instead. So now we gotta come back and test out the milkshakes. So it sounds like they're amazing. All right, day two in Colorado. We are doing the Holy Cross City 4x4 trail. Uh, this is a harder trail. Uh, it's got a couple of unique obstacles that uh, make it difficult, but the goal is to get to the top and uh, hike for, they say, an hour uh, to go find some trout fish. So, should be good. So, our gladiator is working great, and uh, man, it's just been a fun trip up here. So, weather's been amazing. A little cloudy this morning, but overall, having fun. comes out of where the hose burnt out like can we crimp that off or tape it up or something whatever's left is probably gone because it's fully almost fully compressed at this point what if that radio. happens what again your radio? Uh, the spark is that it was on the positive end on that wire on that hose and that's what created the fire so, so if if fluid drips is gonna be all right yeah, it'll be you're positive yeah i'm like i'm not sure i can go on <laughs> dude you got my hat muddy man <laughs> positive battery terminal created a spark the overflow of the fluid from the reservoir ignited and uh, yeah a little fire into the hood it's not what you want to see on the trail problem just drove it what do you think did it look gnarly no no <laughs> it looked like you just walked it okay stop there all right so from there george you're just gonna roll through it okay you're gonna head up to that tree See that big tree right there? Yeah, right. Just my wheel's pointed right to my wheel. Uh, no, yeah, right there. Right there's fine. You just drive straight up to that tree, but once you get up top, stop. Hey, if he doesn't get up top. If you don't, if you start to slide off, just let off and let it slide down. Don't keep trying. That's good. Ready? Yeah. Roll and roll, go.
Are we talking? No, what? Who? All right, here we are, three quarters of the way up, Holy Cross City Trail. It's been a good one. Now it's raining, it's gonna get better. But so far, so good. These guys are super fun to wheel with. The trail's been good. Oh, made it right up, no problem. So yeah, we're having fun. A lot of little obstacles that, uh, are, challenge there, have him hop in. that are challenging. And uh, having, a, having a blast. Okay. Like people lived here. No way. Where's yes. The Where? Yeah. Like oh, it's all in that building and like this yeah, building. This was, all like a town. This this was, was a town, dude. There was there was more up here, but over the years, I'm sure between weather and people, it's all been torn down. But but we have really nice LVP flooring in here. It's so small too. Like weather resistant. You can see it's lasted forever, 100 years. All right, here we are, Holy Cross City, almost to the top of the mountain. We got some super old cabins um, that have bunk beds in them that you could see how they used to sleep. The meadow here is just unbelievable. And what's also crazy is higher up the mountain, there's three, they're calling them Airbnbs. They're brand new. Uh, there's two gondolas. They must have helicoptered in them. But I think you can Airbnb these tiny homes that they they have put insanely high, hiking only. And the view's got to be unreal. But anyways, this... This whole trail has been amazing. Got a little rain, but not nothing crazy. The rivers, the trees, the beauty, it's all here. So I just found out that when I was 16, my dad let me borrow his truck and uh, one of their competition Jeeps called Rocky Road, uh, my dad built back in the heyday. And I actually followed my grandpa all the way to Colorado. And this was one of the very first trails I ever did by myself. Like as far as I was following my grandpa the whole time. So I'm pretty stoked to learn that. It's crazy. I've been learning a lot of history from my dad um, about Colorado. This is also one of my grandpa's favorite places to wheel. So I can already see why. I don't know why I don't remember doing a lot of it. But obviously I was only 16 and running wide open. But we're coming back. Uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to get home now and talk to my uncle and my dad and hear more. So I think there's more that my grandpa was doing than... Uh, I know of, so I'm excited to see what trails he loved. Now you pay money. Now, now a 30 minute hike at 18,000 feet elevation. Or maybe it's only 11, but it feels <laughs> like 18. Oh, those jeans treating you. I'm actually super comfy. I love these jeans. What's up? We're hiking. Casey and Andrew are struggling. No. It's a little high elevation up here. I'm not used to it. Gotta have thinner blood. Oh, you're the lake. That's... You alive? I'm alive! And well! What Best you view you've ever seen? Look at these views. Cliffs, huge waterfall, which you barely can see. Stunning, beautiful lake. Trees wrapped around all the way around it. And we're whatever well we're at elevation of at the top of trees so like literally if you look straight across there's no more trees but it's insane totally insane Oh, did you see that one just jump? 
just got a hit right here. Yeah. Look at that majestic mountain man over there. Katie, what do you, Casey, what do you have to say to the folks at home? Folks at home, get out and live an adventure, an alpine adventure. Casey, there's one right here swimming towards you. Nah. I swear. Real, real, real. Keep that line tight. Hang on. Hang on, bring him here. Bring him here. Boom! Woo! Let's go! Love it! Dude, that's a big buddy, too. Fly fishing, dude! Uh -oh. Come on! Come on! <laughs> Yes, dude. You know you just cost me a shit load of money because I'm gonna be like, send me photos of everything you have. All right, we're back in our Jeeps. Uh, hour hike to go do some fishing. Caught a trout. Andrew put his hook through my hand, but he did catch a fish, I'll give him credit. Now we have like, probably two hours of Jeeping down to get down to town. Cross trail done in the books. Uh, technical tight, fun, uh, some cool like vertical climbs, get some twisty stuff. So just an overall great trail. And then obviously to top it off at the top, we went and hiked um, like a mile to a, an amazing lake and caught some trout, which was amazing. And for me, my second time fly fishing yesterday being the first and actually caught a trout on a fly fish today or fly fishing rod. So um, really cool. So. It's just an overall great day. We just ended up, we're back in Leadville and now gonna get some Mexican food in, in the night. All right, here we are. Colin's idea, whitewater rafting, level four. Here we go. It's gonna be a good day. Hey, what's Andrew wearing? <laughs> Full wetsuit, baby. He went for the one piece. <laughs> The only time things it's got best, so it's not as the only time things, things got stupid idea. <laughs> the problem is we're all a bunch of idiots. <laughs> no, that's not great. You. Come on. 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 Come on, boys, come on. Let's go. All right. 
Vista and dude, unreal. We had a freaking blast. They called at seven o'clock this morning. It's crazy. Called at seven o'clock this morning, got a hold of the owners. She was still at home uh, and she's like, I'll make it happen. Uh, got here, had a freaking blast. They settled all 14 of us, three rafts, uh, level four rapids, and uh, just an absolute blast. And then, yeah, it was great. So I couldn't believe they were completely sold out. Got a hold of the owner. How things work like that always seems to blow me away, but here we are. So now we don't have a lot of cameras. So we're gonna turn this off, but we're gonna go jeeping because that's what we do. Alright, just finish up the Alpine Adventure with Colin and the Built to Wander boys. We had an absolute blast. It was an amazing trip. Whitewater rafting today was insane, but the Jeep trails today were great. A very uh, similar aspect to Big Bear. So the dirt had a little bit of sand to it. Rocks had a little more grip. So I'm not sure if it's just on the opposite side of the valley, uh, but all in all, we had a fantastic trip. Colorado is now a trip that we're going to hit every year. So we'll be back. I'm Casey Curry. Thank you for watching. Now, comment below, tell us what you like, tell us what you don't like. Subscribe right here, watch more videos here.
Thank you guys.